ಜಗದ್ಗುರುಮ್ ಕ್ಷಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಹಂ ಸಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಶಿವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಕ್ಷಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಹಂ ಸಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆನಂದಾನುಭವಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ವಂದೇ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆನಂದಾನುಭವಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ವಂದೇ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ನಮ್ಮ ಯುಗದ ಒಬ್ಬ ಅಭೂತಪೂರ್ವ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಸಮಾಜದ ಆಂದೋಲನದ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪಕರು ಆಧುನಿಕ ವೈದಿಕ ನವೋದಯದ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಅನ್ವೇಷಕ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಊರಾದ ತಿರುವಣ್ಣಾಮಲೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಜನ್ಮ ತಾಳಿದ ಒಬ್ಬ ಯೋಗಿ ಕೆಚ್ಚೆದೆಯ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಸಂಶೋಧಕ ದೈವ ಶಕ್ತಿಯ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಕ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ಇಂದು ಪ್ರಾಚೀನ ರಹಸ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಯೋಗ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನದ ಪಥದಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಲಕ್ಷಾಂತರ ನಿಪುಣರಿಗೆ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿದಾಯಕರಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕತೆಯ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನದ ಸಂಶೋಧನಾಕಾರ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ತೋರುವ ಗುರುಗಳು ಅವರ ವಿವೇಕದ ಸಂಪತ್ತು ಅವರ ನಗುವಿನ ಆ ಸಂತಸ ಹಾಗೂ ಅವರ ಅದ್ವಿತೀಯ ದೀಕ್ಷೆಯ ಶಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ಪ್ರಪಂಚದಾದ್ಯಂತ ಸುಮಾರು ಒಂದು ಕೋಟಿ ಜನರೊಡನೆ ಹಂಚಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಜೀವನಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಪರಿಹಾರಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತನಾಡಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮರೆಯಲಾರದ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಅನುಭವವನ್ನು ಕೈಗೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ technical term in this verse internal organ of perception i just started defining few words emotion the energy which gets converted as excitement and makes the motion happen in you is emotion <laughs> joy the small vacation you give for yourself after continuous natural torture you do to yourself pain the payment you give for being in is pain first like when you learn any subject how you are given a dictionary when you learn english you are given english dictionary when you learn tamil you are given a tamil dictionary when you learn sanskrit you are given a sanskrit dictionary same way when you learn life you should be given life dictionary where is life dictionary internal organ of perception is the spark came out of your life source making organs alive and perceive process information understand this example a heap of rice after digestion a fly is continuously sitting between these two the rice after digestion is your organs the heap of rice is your self means the cosmic self life source this bee which is moving continuously makes this heap of rice after digestion feel it has life that is internal organ of perception because this fly is moving so fast between these two this heap also starts feeling i am also alive i am also being eaten by somebody but actually that heap is not being eaten by the bee heap is getting spoiled by the bee constantly sitting here after sitting there if continuously it is sitting here there here there here there what happened whatever is stuck in his leg it will come here after 100 times 
This whole heap of rice will look little yellowish. Now, unless visually I describe, will you understand? That B is internal organ of perception. What we call chakshu, when it sits on the eyes. We call it shrotra, when it sits on the ears. We call it grana, when it sits on the nose. We call it sparsha, when the bee sits on the touch. Chakshu, shrotra, jihva. We call it jihva, when it sits on the mouth. That is internal organ of perception. And the intelligence, this is a key term. Intelligence is constantly remembering the internal organ of perception does not have individual existence even though it claims to be having is intelligence. Knowing that the feeling of your doership is not a solid experience, it is a simple ah. When you know this, you will always carry the light mood in the life. The energy circuit. That energy circuit gets alive when your whole body laughs, when you are just laughing. The fellows who are laughing around will not be fooling around. If you are fooling around, you will not be able to be laughing around. Intelligence is the non-trust on the internal organ of perception. Not trusting the internal organ of the organ of perception as the ultimate minister, advisor, counselor, not trusting the advice, counseling given to you by the internal organ of perception as ultimate is intelligence. Now, I have given you the definition of all the three technical terms. Understand the sacred secret from this verse. Sense organs, the internal organ of perception and the intelligence are said to be the seat of this insatiable, all-consuming desire. Even though intelligence does not take the internal organ of perception as the ultimate authority, still it has a little bit of hangover with the internal organ of perception. This three are the foundation on which all these insatiable desires, all-consuming desire pattern, I am not enough, is built. The embodied being, poor you, with his understanding, leading to repetition of birth and death is bewildered. When you have the understanding, the internal organ of perception has more power than perceiving your doership, the false doership as a real individuality. When you believe that, you are led to the repetition of birth and death and bewildered. What is bewildered? <laughs> ಭವಿಷ್ಯವನ್ನು ಎದುರಿಸಲು ನಿಮಗೆ ಭಯವಾಗುತ್ತಿದೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹಿಂದಿನ ನೆನಪುಗಳು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕಾಡುತ್ತಿವೆ ಇವೆಲ್ಲಕ್ಕೂ ಮೂಲ ಕಾರಣ ಬಾಲ್ಯದಿಂದಲೇ ಸಮಾಜವು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಸಿರುವ ನಕಾರಾತ್ಮಕವಾದ ಮನೋವೃತ್ತಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರಗಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳಿಂದ ಹೊರಬರಲು ಒಂದೇ ಮಾರ್ಗವೆಂದರೆ ಈ ನಕಾರಾತ್ಮಕ ಮನೋವೃತ್ತಿಗಳನ್ನು ನಾಶಗೊಳಿಸುವುದು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸ್ಫುರಣ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಪ್ರಬಲಯುಕ್ತವಾದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ತಂತ್ರಗಳ ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆಗಳ ಮೂಲಕ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಆಳವಾಗಿ ಬೇರೂರಿರುವ ನಕಾರಾತ್ಮಕ ಮನೋವೃತ್ತಿಗಳಿಂದ ಮುಕ್ತಗೊಳ್ಳಲು ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡುತ್ತದೆ ಮಗುವಾಗಿದ್ದಾಗ ನೀವು ಅನುಭವಿಸಿದ ಆ ನಿರ್ಮಲವಾದ ಮುಗ್ಧತೆಯ ಆನಂದವನ್ನು ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಂಡುಕೊಳ್ಳಲು ಒಂದು ಮಹತ್ತರವಾದ ಅವಕಾಶ ದಿನಾಂಕ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಒಂದರಿಂದ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಸ್ಥಳ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಧ್ಯಾನಪೀಠ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪುರಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಮೈಸೂರು ರಸ್ತೆ ಬಿಡದಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ದೂರವಾಣಿ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಒನ್ ಏಟ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ಫೋರ್ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಡಬಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಜೀರೋ ನೈನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಟೂ ಜೀರೋ ಡಬಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಬಲ್ ಒನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕಾಟ್ ರೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿ
your life is nothing but catch the sacred secret life with so many times being bewildered is not worth living hate it come out of it i am not saying commit suicide no raise yourself to the next level come out of it raise yourself to the highest responsibility then anything i say is like a water poured on the inverted pot whether it is a water or milk or even nectar poured on the inverted pot the pot is neither going to hold nor going to taste it's only going down the drain untouched by anything which awakens them only i call them as old people old enough to feel they are old are old people body can never become old and should never become old body should be alive and young as long as it is breathing even after breathing 3 months you can't become old <laughs> the ash is allowed to become old after 3 months not before that the siddhas their body hair and nail grows even up to 6 months normal man's body 27 days it grows hair and nails for siddhas even after 6 months understand till your death you are not allowed to get aged aging means feeling bewildered seeing the life we have three category young people young but tired young but retired young but dead for young and tired annapurani spoon is enough to give life young and retired master's tongue the tip of the master's tongue initiation is enough to get them out but young and dead only kal bhairava trishul tip is the only way to make them alive varanasi as all three so young and tired young and retired young and dead for all three people medicine is in varanasi first thing required for optimum health is oxygen your body is made up of trillions of cells each one of them requires steady flow of oxygen oxygen is so important even if few seconds of disturbance in oxygen supply disturbance a few seconds in oxygen supply to cells can cause diseases if it is few minutes it can cause death itself let me give you a clear vision of this word optimum health optimum health means body not only functioning perfectly the possibility of the diseases happening should not be there that's what i call optimum health every cell needs steady flow of oxygen unfortunately most of us even though we are breathing we don't take the oxygen completely oxygen supply to each cell is such an important necessity not only we don't supply enough oxygen to oxygen to trillions of our cells in the body we go on disturbing it in the siddha tradition there is a beautiful description every time you visualize certain negative idea in your system for example if you are visualizing an accident one part of your body does not get oxygen supply 
the moment you create stressful negative thought immediately the system responds to it and the oxygen supply to many parts of your body drastically gets reduced in vedic tradition we go beyond oxygen one step beyond oxygen we call it prana prana is the food for the mitochondria in your cell see oxygen is necessary for cell but for mitochondria the subtle part of oxygen which we call as prana is required that is why when you do pranayama or when your kundalini energy is awakened by initiation your mitochondria cell energy goes so high automatically you start experiencing optimum health and anti aging breathing is a basic thing required for health just if you start breathing consciously if breathing proper breathing is taught thousands of diseases in the planet earth will disappear so many of your diseases can disappear just by properly breathing human beings need basic training for breathing but unfortunately the pharmaceutical industries and the fast food industries do not like this kind of good things spreading all over the world that is why they go on trying to create doubt about the pranayam and breathing techniques this whole en kriya is based on breathing how your whole body can be supplied with intense prana the subtle part of oxygen how not only your mitochondria cell energy your very dna can be awakened made to live through proper breathing understand i'll tell you exactly how it feels or va avatara purusharinda nimma jeevanakke divya margadarshana neravagi bekenu prasthuta padisuttiddeve kare maadi paramahamsarodane mukhamukhi nityanandam nityananda here ಇಡೀ ಜಗತ್ತಿಗೆ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಅಪೂರ್ವವಾದ ಹಾಗೂ ಅಸದೃಶವಾದ ಉಡುಗೊರೆಯನ್ನು ನೀಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ನಡೆಯುವ ಸತ್ಸಂಗದ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಿಗೂ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಉತ್ತರ ನೀಡಲು ಅವರು ಲಭ್ಯವಿರುವರು ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಎಂಟು ಗಂಟೆಯ ನಂತರ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಒನ್ ಏಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟೂ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟೂ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಗೆ ಕರೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಅವರೊಂದಿಗೆ ಮಾತನಾಡುವ ಅದೃಷ್ಟ ನಿಮ್ಮದಾಗಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಎನ್ ಟಿವಿ ಡಾಟ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಡಾಟ್ ಓ ಆರ್ ಜಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇದರ ನೇರ ಪ್ರಸಾರವನ್ನು ವೀಕ್ಷಿಸಿ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲೈವ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ your body is also made out of seven layer of diamonds unfortunately only one layer is cut diamond unfortunately the deeper layers of the diamond does is not polished 
you don't need to be a spiritual person you don't need to believe all the spiritual ideas follow aparigraha celibacy and all other spiritual truths nothing just do breathing proper conscious breathing the diamonds inside your next six layers can be awakened you just live in 1g by the time you come to 2g you see oh and you grab and do corruption get caught come on there is 7g i was studying about the spectrum in 1g what kind of things get transmitted in 2g what all is possible now the 3g phones have come already the video calls you are very spectrum can be raised just by breathing proper breathing if the prana is infused into your system i can say greatest secret for enlightenment you don't need to do anything except working on your breath you can eat whatever you want you can drink whatever you want you can live the way you want you don't need to change your lifestyle if you can work on breathing solidly properly you don't need any of the yama niyama nothing asana pratyahara dharana dhyana nothing is required the whole secret is in breathing oxygen and prana maybe when more prana is infused into your system there may be some discipline you will start following but infusing prana into your system is the most sacred secret for the optimum health for your physical mental well being and for enlightenment itself usually i can't create any thought in my system so i study some of the disciples when they get certain thought what kind of oxygen flow is happening in them <coughs> what kind of prana is flowing in them how much of prana gets stored in mitochondria cell how their system becomes alive energetic intelligent just proper breathing when i say proper this n kriya is more than enough doing n kriya twice a day can heal thousands of diseases many diseases related to prana can be completely cured just proper breathing does so much unfortunately ordinary human beings feel they are living in too many minds at a time the difference between hell and heaven is too many bodies one mind sometime not even there that even that is not there this is heaven too many minds only one body sometimes even that one body is not proper it is broken and sick sick and broke one body too many minds active violent is hell too many bodies one mind that is also not much active almost relaxing in having vacation is heaven in indian villages when the girls are given in marriage they will give a special kind of a vessel one in one in one in one it can get fixed they will put some even 10 vessels one will go in another one will go in another one in will go in another one will go in another 10 vessels will be inside one vessel how if you think it's a one vessel and try to lift it you can't because 10 vessel is inside same way i am feeling it's not one body it's layers and layers and layers some seven bodies are there inside and all seven are alive how healthy you will feel understand 
I tell you, do not live just with one body. ಕಲ್ಪತರು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಜಾಗೃತಿಯ ಶಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಕಂಡುಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಎಂದರೇನು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬ ಮನುಷ್ಯನಲ್ಲೂ ಸುಪ್ತವಾಗಿ ಅಡಗಿರುವ ಅಸಾಧಾರಣ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯವೇ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಗುರುಗಳ ದೀಕ್ಷೆಯಿಂದ ಈ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಶಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಜಾಗೃತಗೊಳಿಸಬಹುದು ಒಮ್ಮೆ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಜಾಗೃತಗೊಂಡರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದ ಪ್ರತಿ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಪರಿವರ್ತನೆ ತರುವ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅದಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಅದು ನಿಮಗೆ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಸಂಪತ್ತು ಯಶಸ್ಸು ಸಂತೋಷ ಭರಿತ ಸಂಬಂಧಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಜ್ಞಾನೋದಯವನ್ನು ತಂದುಕೊಡುತ್ತದೆ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಹಾಗೂ ದೀಕ್ಷೆಗಳ ಶಕ್ತಿಯ ಬಳಕೆಯನ್ನು ಕಂಡುಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಜಾಗೃತಿಯ ಒಂದು ಇಳುಕು ನೋಟವನ್ನು ಕಲ್ಪತರು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಅನುಭವಿಸಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಭವಿಷ್ಯವನ್ನು ರೂಪಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ವಾರಾಂತ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಥಳ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಪೀಠ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬಿಡದಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಲಿವ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೆನಿ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಮಮ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಡು ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಜಿ you feel oh god in 2g itself we can swindle so much then why to go to 3g i tell you no don't stop go to 7g but don't swindle raise your spectrum to 7g means raise the number of bodies you are having this proper breathing is one of the most powerful method for optimum health